Hey guys, so this week we are going to be talking about Amethyst. And Amethyst is one of the most beautiful crystals in my opinion. And everybody knows Amethyst. Let's be real. This is one of the most popular, most common crystals. You could go anywhere from a mall to a crystal shop to a flea market to a jewelry store everybody's going to have something with amethyst especially if you're in a crystal store a lot of times they have an entire area just dedicated to amethyst i mean it's very common very popular and because of that it's a shame that i don't think it's used as much as it should be because you just kind of look it up oh, yeah, yeah it's quartz oh that's amethyst uh, it, it's just because it's one of those top 10 crystals, probably even the top three from a consumer standpoint. And it's a shame because it's a very, very spiritual crystal to work with. And it has a bunch of cool metaphysical properties, which are very helpful. So let me show you the next one here. This, this one is a very light color and amethyst ranges from a very light purple like this one. It's kind of why I wanted to show that to anywhere from a very dark or deep purple. Now this guy's kind of somewhere in the middle, but you could see that how beautiful is this? Just gorgeous. Look at the colors on that. I mean, you put this up to the light and wow, just awesome. So amethyst is a very spiritual crystal and therefore because of the, the purple and the energies it holds, it is perfect for the third eye chakra and the crown chakra which are the spiritual ones top top of the head is the main one for amethyst and it is gorgeous so let's see here now we have what can amethyst do for you is the main question now there's one thing that it does better than everything else but i'll get to that toward the end of the video um it is very commonly, think of this kind of like nature's Xanax. It's a natural tranquilizer. It's a natural stress reliever. And it's going to balance your mood. It's going to get rid of anxiety. And let's be honest, in this world, in today's world, there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. This is a perfect crystal that is often overlooked but just should be used very frequently. So again, natural tranquilizer. Think of it like your natural Xanax from right out of the earth. Um, here's another little specimen. This is a stalactite. It's an amethyst stalactite and they cut and polish it. And this is another representation of how amethyst can, um, you could, the type to purchase or whether you're mining it, finding it, whatever the case may be. But this is a, another representation. It's kind of polished on the top and rough around the sides. And this is another beautiful specimen. Um, but yeah, definitely great for stress relief. And when you're overburdened, which is pretty much everybody, this is a great one to work with. And it is great where with amethyst, you could easily wear it in jewelry and that makes it very applicable. Like you could put it on a bracelet, you could use it in a, a charm bag, you could put it on your neck, like a necklace pendant. I mean, this could be cut, this could be polished and I'll show you some of them as well soon. But amethyst, there's uh, just a, so many variations of this and it's also highly polishable. So you could get it in like towers and different things like that here is an amethyst um, cut geode and they cut the face off and it's like a, a geode like a little cathedral uh, they call these guys but these are some of my favorites because they're just awesome and gorgeous to look at obviously but tosses out a lot of energy and amethyst isn't like gonna pack a super punch and and, and knock you on your feet with the energy, but it's also not going to like, you, you'll feel it. You're definitely going to feel it if you work with it enough, um, meditate with it enough, all that kind of stuff. 
So the other thing is what I was saying, it's a natural tranquilizer. It balances your mood. Anger. Anger is a, a big one for, for this one. And I think that it really helps. Now, I'm Italian. I got the hot-headed, you know, you could easily get the hot-headed argument going and you get all fired up for no reason at all, which I've kind of broken away from over the years. But honestly, this is the perfect one to work with to get rid of that anger, to suppress all that. And it just cal- keeps you calm and collective and releases a lot of that stupid anger and rage. And I mean, everybody kind of knows what I'm talking about, whether it's road rage or whatever the case may be. You get into that uh, temper tantrum state and you act like a complete idiot. This kind of will calm you and say, nah, let's not go there. And here's another one. This is a amethyst flower, they call these. And these are a little on the more expensive side, depending on the size. But another beautiful example of amethyst. And this one is just gorgeous look at all the the cluster and everything with this very light purple and there's some that are so dark like um i think it's from brazil like uruguay paraguay they have certain like real good specimens the best come out of brazil and they can be so deep purple it's just awesome so all right getting on to the most important thing i think amethyst should be used for is to break out of the cycle of dependence. Now, again, in this world, everybody kind of needs something. A lot of people have a crutch, whether it be uh, smoking weed, whether it be drinking, drugs of all types, um, all different types of crutches we have. And honestly, hey, some people... It is what it is. I mean, everybody has something going on. And that's kind of like a, an outlet. But if you want to, you're ready to break out from those dependencies where you don't need all that. Like, you want to be sober. You want to get rid of that uh, feeling where, it, whether sometimes you're just bored and you're just, there's nothing else to do and you're going to drink or you're going to smoke or you're going to do this. And you don't want to do that anymore and you want to break from that cycle, a bad cycle. This is the stone. This is the stone of sobriety. Amethyst's number one, I think, in my opinion, number one definite use would be to break from the dependence in the cycle of uh, alcohol, drugs, anything like that, painkillers. This can help. And this is going to balance your emotions and just help you to break from that cycle. Uh, whether you use it in jewelry and wear it, whether you meditate with it or simply keep it with you next to your bed or uh, keep keep it close to you, keep it very close to you. This is something you could, if you're really trying to break from that um, dependency cycle, jewelry is your best bet. Keep it on s- touching the skin And over time, it will help you if your focus and intentions are on actually to break from that. It will help you. And I think that's the number one thing with amethyst that people overlook with it and don't really realize is that it can definitely help you get out of that, that rut and that, that cycle. And that cycle, it is very hard sometimes to break out of very hard. And this can help you. So, like I said, very spiritual stone, very beautiful stone. This one, also, I think, a stalactite, but it's very darker purple, as you can see here. Very deep purple. And just gorgeous. They have amethyst. You could, you could find it in so many different types and shapes and sizes and everything else. Um, let me show you my last one. Um, I have a ton of amethyst. This is one of them. This is very heavy. Um, This is amethyst, and it's cut and polished. And this thing, as you can see, is massive. One of my favorites in my personal collection in terms of amethyst is this guy. 
and it is a whopper. Look at this thing. But you can see the range from light to dark purple. And you this thing, you take this outside and let the sun hit it. Wow. It is just awesome. It's hard to get the whole thing in the uh, in the picture here. But this is one of my favorite. This is well, probably my favorite. But again, you don't need something like this to work with. You could get a polished little stone from a crystal shop. You can get uh, any of these I'm showing you. Just a small piece is kind of what you uh, what you should get to work with. But this is I just wanted to show you this, guys, because this is awesome. It's one of my favorites. So, all right, that'll do it for Amethyst. I'm trying to keep my videos like around the 10, 10 minute, 12 minute range. I don't want to go too crazy and bore everybody to death. But this is the uh, the discussion about Amethyst. So. Hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time, which will be very soon.